are uh, adjusting the last parameters before uh, going to sea in Syria, so fine tuning uh, the motor controller. And uh, yeah, in 10 minutes uh, we are off. Don't wait. Okay, we are going back to Benoa, so we have all the staff of Fairmont Hotel to help us and uh, push Surya Namaskar into the water again. Satu, dua, tiga! Quite easier than when we had to bring it up. <laughs> yes, go! <laughs> yeah, more, more, more! Yes! Yeah, lagi! Yeah! Woo! <laughs> Thank you guys! Terima kasih! Okay, and now we go on board. Welcome on board to Namaskar. It's 10 past 8 in the Balinese morning and we are now rounding the naval base of Benoa Harbor in the Benoa Bay. We left this morning the Fairmont Hotel at 7 a.m. sharp, crossed Sarangan Harbor and now we hope that the, Mar the Navy is not going to intercept us. And um, yeah, so this is the little uh, marina of Bali and uh, over there it's a LPG processing plant that is uh, for about 10% of the electric power production of Bali is coming from LPG and 90% is from coal-fired power plants from Java. And we are sailing on Selenamaskar with zero emission and not a drop of gas. Actually, at the moment, we are getting around... Okay, let me adjust this without entering in collision with the Navy ships. So I don't know if you can see, but we are getting about 25 amps from the panel and we are consuming exactly the same. So that means that we are sailing entirely freely at the moment. Um, so this is uh, our navigation screen and um, so we are sailing slowly because the water is shallow and we are watching the water depth all the month at any moment with Ella at the bow. We have three guests today, Agus. Marius and Leonie and uh, now we are passing under a cloud and we are still getting 700 watts from the panel so that's good and the sun is still pretty low this early morning uh, it's just high tide now so we have good hope that uh, we will make it safely back to the little cradle of Syria near the mangrove so it's been a wonderful sailing again today and everything seems fine on board Sayana Mascar and uh, we've already a barong. Uh, how is the depth now? So it should be good, right? Alright, so maybe just for the sake of the video 
I'm going to push more. Ah, more shallow. Okay, so we are slowing down a little bit because we are in a shallow area. Okay. Well, this is quite incredible because there's a number of nice yachts and uh, how did these guys come in in such shallow water? Okay, so maybe we should actually go a little closer to the shore. Nice beautiful uh, vessels there, Phoenician boats and then the tugboats. And um, so we are still waiting. I think we should round that green boy there, and then we can head straight for the bridge under the toll that's crossing the highway that's crossing uh, the bay. So it'll probably that or not but uh, we get that we can't get too close to this uh, industrial vessel so we have been sailing now for an hour and 30 minutes and the batteries are still relatively full we're getting um, a power that oscillates between 700 and 1500 watts from the solar panels and uh, that is about uh, roughly 80% of what we are consuming at the moment so we have plenty of energy stored in the batteries so there's no problem but safety first we are going slowly in, avoid to, in order to avoid uh, that Mr. Barong Manta Tree Ludicrous hits the ground and just about 300 meters to go and then we will run that boy and we will turn to starboard towards our final destination. You can see here the path we left from here on the Fairmont Hotel. to be extremely careful um, because the depth is extremely uneven. How does it look, uh, Amore? It's pretty shallow here, no? Huh? Good? Okay. So maybe we don't need to go around that boy. Uh, we could get short. Perhaps there. A lot of people fishing. Now we're getting 1500 watts from the panels at the moment. The sun is back. Now we have a good depth. Yeah. But there are still a few traps on the way, so we will basically go back on the exact same path as the one we came when we are following our friend uh, Papa Wayan, who knows this water like the back of his hand. And. Uh, unlike us so we need to be careful there are still a couple of sandbanks before we reach our final destination hello Well, the sim 
people of um, the world we live in, these massive vessels processing a lot of fossil fuels and contributing, therefore, to global warming. Okay, we are almost on the route. Ah, yes, there is a wreck there, and I think we passed next to that wreck. So we will turn around those this rusty old tug. It's getting a little bit more choppy here because now we are passing in front of the opening of Benoit Bay. So nothing is blocking the way to come in. We would love to go a little bit out but we have to come back because of the tide. So Not sure exactly where we have to go. I'm checking the chart and it looks like oops. Yeah, it's almost on the right roads. Nice smell of gasoline here. For sure is not coming from us. Alright, so I think we are good here. Yeah, so here the sandbank has a little bit of crop as well. Uh, so yeah, we have to run near the, uh, the wreck. So that's correct. And now we are heading west. Back home on the path we left with when we went to Sanur. So looking very close to these boats. Nice views. So this LNG was built in uh, in China two years ago and brought to Bali for the gas power plant. And then now behind Sari Mulia you will see the regasification plant. Talking of which, uh, it looks like we have something in the prop. Ah, this is Bapawayan, isn't it? Or at least it looks like. Showing off with his brand new Yamaha engine. Hey, Bapa! Hello! That was private escort. Yeah, we have a private escort. Bapawayan couldn't resist to come and check on us. <laughs> That's really nice. And so now we just have to follow. Maybe he was worried that we wouldn't make it. Ah yeah, so this, uh, anyways, this JSK through, that's the regasification plant. So the, all the gas that's stored on this uh, basically stationary vessel is going through that little LNG tank and is liquefied again and uh, recompressed and uh, blah blah blah. There's too many details to explain now. And then it's sent on the pipelines to the plant that is in Denpasar. And I would like to check if there is nothing in the prop because if there's nothing, we are going to do a little race with Papa Wayan. So, let me check after we pass those vessels. <laughs> I love it. I'm, I was sure I'm already would come. 
So this guy is the first owner of the boat, the very first. Uh, yeah, maybe that's why he came because well, his wife wants it back. That's very clear. And uh, uh, Agus, can you hold the steering for a second? Just like hold straight, this. Yeah. Yeah, maybe it's easier if be careful not to touch yep, this. Yep, yep, yep. So you just follow him, I'm just gonna have a look. So do small movements only. Because yeah. it can you see it reacts very fast, so I just want to check. Okay, okay. no. Yeah yeah. So just follow him and uh, okay, can you put the joystick to zero? No. Back back to you, yeah, to neutral. Yes, thank you. Just want to have a look. Yeah, this baron is in uh, good condition. Nothing in the crop. Okay, that's okay. All right, cheers, buddy. Thank you. All right. Yeah, thank you. Okay, so now I think there is a lot of depth here. Uh, we haven't pushed so far, so let's just floor it. So now we are at 180 amps. That's pretty much... Yeah, that's a lot. You can smell the gas that's coming out, but not from us, no. So, five people on board. Yes, we can take him. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> ah, the rascal. He's pushing as well. Wow, look at the wake. Oh, okay, enough. We should do that again uh, in the middle of the day when we have 5,000 watt coming from the sun.